Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to install yet another border from Gina AI, which does only one thing and does it in a very fine way. This model, which is called as Reader-LM, just in 1.5 billion parameter, is a series of model from Gina that converts HTML content to markdown content. And that's about it. It is really useful for creating small utilities for content conversion tasks. This model is trained on a curated collection of HTML content and its corresponding markdown content. The model comes in two flavors. One is just 0.5 billion parameter and the other one which we are going to install is 1.5 billion parameter model. The context length for both, for both models is really huge. 256k that's right so it can throw its spotlight at one time on 256k tokens which is really amazing uh, they haven't shared any benchmarking information which i could find but looks quite cool it has just been released so let's try to get it installed and then we will use it on the html to convert it into a markdown format if you don't know what markdown format is then markdown is simply a lightweight text formatting syntax that uses plain text symbols to create formatted text such as bold italics and headings and i have done few other videos on markdown if you're interested also in the past i have done various videos on different models and technologies from gina ai so just search on my channel with gina and you should be able to find lot of stuff for them they have created some good stuff over the last few months okay so before i show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to mast compute for sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpu so do check them out next up let me show you my terminal where i am running ubuntu 22.04 and this is my gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram since it's a small model especially if you use its 0.5 billion parameter variant you should be even able to run it cpu easily no need for gpu for this model okay so let me clear the screen and then let me create a virtual environment i'm just calling it china and i'm using python 3.0 11 so let's wait for it to get created and activated should not take too long and the conda is created next up let's install the prerequisites and you can see that i'm installing transformers from the source so make sure you either have the very latest version or you install it from source otherwise this model won't be supported as it's just been released few hours ago so let's wait for all of these prerequisites to be installed All the prerequisites are done. It took around two to three minutes, so we just have to be patient. Next up, let's create a Jupyter Notebook and then we will launch it in the browser and then we will download and play around with the model in the browser environment. And the Jupyter Notebook is launched. And if you want, you can simply use it in any Python code. You don't have to use the notebook. Okay, so the first step, let's import these libraries and specify our model's checkpoint here that is done okay next up let's download the model and its tokenizer in the place of device if because i'm using gpu from nvidia so i have specified cuda if you are using cpu just simply replace it with cpu in small letters so let's download the token and tokenizer and model and the model is being downloaded tokenizer is already done the size is just over 3 gig so let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long as you can see and the model is not only downloaded but it is also loaded onto my gpu okay next up let's try to do the inference so here what i'm doing i have just specified html uh, content uh, which is a hypertext markup language of course and then i am giving it some html tag around html body and then simply a heading and then we are closing that html tags so this is the html and then we are going to convert it into markdown 
so this is where we are applying the chat ml on this prompt template we are printing what is input text and then afterwards we are uh, converting the text into tokens with the help of tokenizer we are generating the output with the help of model and we have specified some of the hyperparameters where it is checking randomness or any sampling and then we are decoding it back with the tokenizer and printing the output so let me run it and there you go so it has you can see that from im start to im end it has given us our input after converting it to that chatml uh, prompt template after that it is giving us the extracted text from that html and you can easily put it in any markdown so this is how easy it is and you can even display it in the markdown format by simply using the markdown function as i have done for that all you need to do is to just i'll just go up you just need to import this markdown and display from markdown from ipython and then when you display it you see that it has given you hello world here so we can even go and comment this one and then if you run it again there you go so because hello world was h1 heading that is why it has printed it here and then it has printed other stuff too if you like okay so let's try out another example so in this time i have given it this html content with paragraph and some bullets and then also a link so when you run it this is these are the bullets and then this is the whole thing here and then there is also the url which it has given how good is that okay so let's try out another example i'm just going to replace this text with another example so this time it's slightly bigger where you can just give any link of your choice so for instance i have just given it a link to fahadmirza.com but the important bits are that there are various html elements including different types of headings paragraphs and then bullet points and then also a table and then we are printing it out so once we print it let me go down there you go so you see there's a h2 subheading and then there are some ordered items and we have our table too and then some links and other stuff okay let's do a final example in this one this is a bit complex but uh, still manageable i believe because it includes headings unordered lists bold and italic test links and again table with div so let's run it and see what it does let's wait for it to produce output there you go it's quite fast too as you can see there you go so there are features tables amazing stuff really these are nested stuff which it has printed very nicely and then it has also produced the tables so all in all a really impressive compact model and as i said you can even use it in the 0.5 billion uh, parameter mode which will be even lighter try it out let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching